Are we going? James, don't run. Yes. Okay, cool. Give me one second. Okay, I think we're supposed to. Yo, welcome to the biggest podcast hip hop. The biggest hip hop podcast in the universe. I'm here with my uh, my co host, DJ Soda Can. What's good, yo? How's it going, man? Is there like a sound button I can hit? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, we got a couple. Oh, wait, fuck. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> when the collab dropped? <laughs> Ow, dude, that's so loud. Ow, Jesus Christ. Yeah, introduce yourself. How's it going, guys? My name is James Wallace. I make clothes, I also make music. And do funny stuff, and um, mostly on Instagram. That's what I do for a living. I am here in New York to shoot some stuff, and uh, my friend Will and I just did a big uh, shoot that we did together for some jerseys, which I think went really well, actually. Yeah. And I think the the fans will really like them, hopefully. The enjoyers, the enjoyers will love the content, guys. We're our, always yeah, our, our sl- slaves. Do you want to? What? Our our lovely consumers yeah guys without your consumption habits and your need to feel cool need to feel cool me and james would be working at AutoZone, but instead <laughs> maybe we get you to would s- be I, i'll be all right where would you be working i don't know i'd probably just kill myself yeah <laughs> this is all i got going on what if not for the funny t-shirts we'd be in it <laughs> we'd be in a shallow and early sad yeah. grave it's funny but here we are it's funny um I used to really not like the T-shirts that I was making for like HS back in the day, like all, all the um, all the like OG T-shirts. I would, I would make them and I would, I kind of I was selling. Them, I was like, oh fuck, like this is kind of embarrassing because I, you know, not to be like pretentious or like you know weird or anything, but I always kind of saw myself like more. I was more ambitious than just like making T-shirts, you know. Hmm. And so, it's very nice recently that all the shit I've been making is like stuff I'm actually really proud of and like not only is it cool but it's also like doing well. And mm-hmm. I think that's just very, you know, fulfilling and awesome and feels great. What was your best selling Ever? shitty t shirt? Oh, be- uh, the Joe Rogan one, dude. We sold like 700 of those. Yeah, dude. HS was just like a, I made a bunch of fake, like, shitty t shirt mock ups, hmm. like, just for fun. And I posted them on my Twitter and they just, like, blew up. And then I was like, oh, shit, I could just, like, really make these and capitalize and actually make money. And then yeah. that's how Haunted, Star- ha- Haunted Starbucks was born. It was just t shirts. And then, um, I don't know. Do you remember to how much money you made? Oh, dude, at the I time? actually I have a really funny story. So I um the first like day I started HS, like the day I like made the website for the t-shirts, I think I made like oh, like fifteen hundred bucks. Mm. And this was like, I just graduated high school. I was taking a year off in between like university, like going to school mm. and just like you know graduating or whatever. And um, my mom like I, <laughs> she was like, you need to get a job. Like you're not fucking around. Like you gotta work. So I got a job in a. Uh, yeah, like a grocery store and it was I was like I so went in sad. I went it was awful dude I didn't I have okay but I had the uniform I did, did the orientation like the day before my first shift I dropped on a Starbucks I made fifteen hundred dollars and I was just like I'm not fucking going to that shift I don't mm-hmm. need it and then yeah that was the last time I had any sort of like real job was that job orientation at the grocery store yeah dude I went there and I was like yeah oh yeah this is great and then I remember talking to one like one of the guys there like some old old yeah, old guy, fun. and I was like, "Oh, you know, like I I want to go to university." He's like, "Oh yeah, like <coughs> I did I did that too. I went to school." I was like, "Jesus so Christ, what the fuck?" You know, that's f- dude. And also, another job I went for. I tried to work at H and M when I was like a kid. So like, sad. And I was talking to the like in the interview, I was like, "Oh yeah, I want to go to school for fashion," and like the manager at the H and M was like, "Oh, I went to Ryerson, I, like the school I went to." Wow. I was like, I want to go to this program. He's like, I went to that program. Oh, really? Yeah, the fucking like H and M manager. How old were you? Like seventeen. And that left a stinky impression that was on like, you. Holy fuck! This yeah. guy's he did what I did. But you still ended up going to college, right? For yeah, I um I did a bunch. I did I went to university for four years. I did a I did like a media program. Then I dropped out. I like I switched to like, I did fashion for a couple years. But it was during like that like the peak of COVID. So I didn't fucking learn anything. It was all just like. Online. Really stupid. Um, cor- yeah, dude. Also, fucking. If you go to like a four year like fashion university program, for the first like full two years, it's just complete bullshit. Like nothing to do with fashion. All like more akin to like a gender studies program where it's all about like ethics and equality and just like, just like like I want to learn how to make fucking pants. Yeah. But I went to fashion school and it was like two full years of just like 
essays, like just yeah, complete like liberal arts. Yeah, liberal yeah. arts, like bullshit. You took out loans to do that education. Oh yeah, I got like twenty grand, like probably more. Like I got like fucking like thirties. I can actually check right now. I have like I have a credit karma app downloaded. I have good credit though. So you I've got really good, if anyone's you're paying anyone's it listening. down right now or did you did you pay it down fully? No, I'm like I'm not, I don't know. I think I might just not pay it. There's no reason to pay it. Yeah, I think I'm if, if anything I'm just gonna like delay it. Is there interest on it? it, or is the interest delayed um, because of COVID? I don't know, man. Canada's a who gives a fuck? Third, I don't give a shit. I like I, I could just go buy it, pay it, but I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna do that. I think. Or you could I, buy a Porsche Macan. Yeah, which is what I I did instead of. Let's go, bro. Yeah. Bought the Porsche Macan. Yeah, I bought a Porsche recently. That was cool. That felt good. That made it. That made like the shitty T-shirts worth it. Yeah. Not okay. Honestly, yeah. I don't want to sound like a dick and say I didn't like what I was doing. Because I, it was still, like, I still loved it. Mm-hmm. I'm not, like, pretentious. I don't care. Like, I, I'm not trying to seem cool. I love Haunted Starbucks. It, I have it fucking tattooed on me. It's the only tattoo I have. I have HS. Um, but, like, I don't know. It's just, like, I strived. I wanted to do more than just T-shirts. But, like, when, it, when I bought that Porsche, I was like, yeah, I bought this shit selling funny T-shirts. Yeah. And that felt fucking awesome. Yeah. And you know, I was like, you know what? Actually, it is cool. Like, fuck the haters, you know? Was there... So you bought that recently. Was there a big drop you had that you... That was like, all right, now I can afford this. Um, or, or, it's just it's just like like four years of working straight and just doing drops for like a, a long period of time. And you were saving consistently. Or yeah, we, I didn't. I've just been. I haven't really. Like, my expenses are super low, yeah. so I don't really. I what are your expenses? The VW. <sighs> yeah, I had another car, um, but now the Por- Porsche, a uh, girl, annoying girlfriend. Shout out Charlotte. Yeah, no, she's awesome. I love her, but that's about it. And like food and like, you know, like, but I'm interested when when you're saving, when you're saving throughout the years, are you putting away like a static amount every drop or no, basically, well, it's so, it's so variable, right? Cause like some drop you'll, you'll make a lot more than others. And like, if you go viral, like the meth hoodies, I've sold like 800, 700, 800 of those. And that's like, I didn't expect that to happen. No. Right. Cause, um, last year, last year is when I started like seeing the real success. Like before that it was enough. Like I didn't need a real job. I could like kind of buy whatever I wanted, but it wasn't like I can go buy a Porsche. It was like, no. you know, I'm doing night. Like, this is nice. This might go somewhere, you know? And then I dropped that. It was funny too, because I came out of like a huge mental slump because all the vaccine shit I was dealing with, like my yeah. heart issues. I, I was like, if, for those of you that don't know, I got really fucked up by the vaccine. I have some like heart problems and shit from it. It seems to be going okay now, but like for a while there, it was pretty, uh, like, I don't know what's happening, you know? And can so, you tell like when. Because you, you have the vaccine slump, but what was that like? Like, were you truly crippled by it for a couple months? Or? It wasn't it wasn't so much physical. It was more like a mental crippling because you could go to the doctor and you talk to them about it. And it's like, oh, you do the you do like the, the rudimentary heart test because there's like no tests available to like check for what the vaccine does because it's just so new and experimental. You go, they look at your heart on like an x-ray. Oh, you look fine. There's nothing wrong with you. You probably have anxiety. Mm-hmm. So they just try and like, this is like a, like a common thing with like, even with people that have like long COVID where they'll just kind of gaslight you into thinking that you're fine because there's just, the doctors are just, they don't fucking know. So they, they don't, don't want to admit what they do. Yeah. Well, one, they don't, they don't want to admit Two, they don't actually know. And th- another one is they just don't really give a fuck to be honest yeah. with you. Like doctors are pieces of shit for the most part. Like it's hard uh-huh. to find someone that actually like will generally take the time and be like, yeah, like, let's see what's wrong. I believe you. So did it black pill you on doctors? Oh, dude, it black pilled me on like life. Yeah. Like I'm it, it like fully radicalized me because it's like before that I was like, okay, let's get the vaccine. You know, I'm you know, I wasn't really into any of that shit. But then it like seeing it like just like fuck up my health completely. And now I have like high blood pressure and like fucking like, I don't know, I get chest pains once in a while. And my like I have like vascular inflammation, all this crazy shit that happened to me. It's like, okay, oh, so all that shit was just like for like purely profit and there was nothing about it related to health at all and Mm -hmm. it wasn't political it was just a way to make you know some fucking rich assholes more money yeah yeah dude no it like completely radicalized me on a lot of shit um and i feel like yeah it like i'm like i'm like it will do that it like joker moded me for real they destroyed your body for a couple bucks yeah no seriously and it's like for dude i'm fucking like i was like I was like a power lifter, like working out skateboarding every day, like the healthiest I've ever been. I had like fucking 9% body fat. I was hitting, you know what I mean? I was in really good shape. I did not need that fucking vaccine. I was like 20 no. years old, dude. No. Like, I fucking, yeah, yeah, anyways. You had to get it for school though, right? School, travel, fucking parents, you know, I just like, yeah, yeah. but um, I should have just lied, honestly. But anyways, coming out of that slump, I was like, oh, holy fuck, let's do it. 
and I banged out the meth hoodie. I did the the McRicks. Yeah. I did like that big Shrek backpack that did really well. And I just had like a hit after hit after hit idea that just kept making me more money. And then, um, yeah, dude, ever since then, it's just, and we did the pop-up, which was awesome. Mm-hmm. Did the fucking Bob shoe, did. So yeah, things have been going really well. And the meth hoodie was your most epic drop of all time. Yeah, it did. Well, it did really well on Twitter. It went, dude, honestly, like that's really underrated is like, blowing up on Twitter because I feel like on Instagram it's so much harder to kind of like get a post with like a ridiculous amount of engagement mm-hmm. but Twitter has like a built-in feature that like shares yeah shit you know you hit the retweet yeah, and yeah. so that makes that makes it so much easier to get seen you know mm-hmm. so that's a good if you any designers out there are making stuff when you're working you know. on shit like the uh, McRicks or the meth hoodie <clears throat> are you thinking like because you're saying like you don't like doing funny t-shirts but or not that you don't like it, but it's not your preference. But like, obviously, the meth hoodie is humorous in nature. Was that is that you sitting there thinking like, let's go viral with this next one? Um, no, I like I. It's not that I don't like the funny aspect of it. I really like that. It's just that like I feel like the T-shirt as a medium. Uh huh. It's like the medium. I like I like I like making funny shit. Like that's like my. It's like what I do. It's mm-hmm. like my thing. I just want it to be interesting and unique and actual like a general fashion product and not just like a fucking like printed t-shirt you know so like the i love the funny part it's just i want it to be cut and sew i want to make i want to make it interesting i want to make it like a something that's like very unique and specific and like it's not you can't just like go and buy another hoodie of the exact same like style somewhere else with a different logo on it you Mm -hmm. know so i guess i guess it's more about like wanting to design more elaborate stuff because i i'm always going to make kind of funny stuff it's like I love it. It's, you know, I, I, it's I, you. I, I want this to be fun, right? I don't want, right. I'm not like, oh, like, I feel like so many designers take themselves so fucking seriously. You know what I mean? Like, you, yeah, s- yeah, you these fashion guides are so like, oh, like, I'm serious. They're artists. Yeah, I'm an art. It's, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, you, you got rich parents, you make clothing. Mm-hmm. It's like, just have some fun with it, man. It's, it's really not that deep. And uh, I don't know. I think people... It's refreshing to see someone, uh, at least what I think is that someone actually seems to enjoy what they do and doesn't take themselves too seriously because, I don't know, man, fucking life's too short. Yeah. Like, with the vaccine shit, too, like, when that hit me, I was like, Jesus Christ, like, you know, I could be leaving soon, you know? Right. So, like, I'm not going to waste time fucking around or, like, you know, trying to, try, trying to like, pretend something that be, to be something I'm not or whatever, so. What, you know? we, what, do you, what would you call yourself? What are you? James oh, Jesus Wallace. Christ. Content creator? No. Fuck off. Podcaster, TikToker? I'm a YouTuber. No, I'm kidding. I, I just, it might, it might sound kind of lame, but I think I'd just call myself an artist. Yeah. Because I make music too. I'm dropping an album. Suburban and, Legend. Yeah, Suburb Legend. And, Suburb uh, Legend. It's produced by my friend Rapallo, and it's going to be on um, Varg's record label, Cease to Exist, which is dope because, yeah, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just make, I think I'm just an artist. You know, that's what I call myself. If it's, I don't know if it's pretentious or not, but that's fine. Fuck it. I think it's good. Thanks. I'm interested. The thing I'm interested in is, is like the details of your life. Okay. Like um, how how I live and stuff. Yeah, because you're an artist. Mul- I'll call you a multimedia artist from the sticks in Canada. Oh yeah. So tell me, you've told me you're from the con- like kind of back roads. Almost. Yeah, I live right now. I live um, like where I live. Just for reference, like, you can't get any, like, there's no Uber Eats or anything. Mm-hmm. Or, like, skip the dishes or, like, Uber. It's like you're at, you're out there. Like, it's like there's, like, the closest gas station is, like, a 10-minute walk, you know? And and is your neighbor, how far is your neighbor from you? Close. So I'm not in, I'm not in, like, a country. I'm in, like, a, like a suburb, just a very far out one. Oh, okay. So it's not, like, it's, closest like, Closest to worst. what city? Toronto? Yeah, close, I'm, like, an hour from Toronto. That's okay. why, but one of the reasons why I got the car is because, like, where I live, you got to drive everywhere. Mm-hmm. I spend like three hours a day in the car. Oh, really? Yeah, it's fucked. Because like everything, like if I go see Charlotte, my, my girlfriend, it's like an hour drive there. Mm-hmm. You know, it's fucking, if I go, if I, I drop off, like I'll try and ship like 10, 15 packages a day. You know, when I, if I have the stuff in stock, yeah. right? So I'll pack 10 or 15 up, put it in my car. 10 or 15, 10 week orders, 10 week old orders. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm really bad at shipping. But also another if anyone's watching this and they're mad at me because their stuff takes long to ship, I work it on my parents' basement. There's no one involved in the process but me. I'm all just doing it by hand. I'm packing every single order. Mm-hmm. There's not. There's no <laughs> like fulfillment center. There's no company. It's just me. Like my girlfriend helps me out a little bit, but that's that's basically it. Tell me, um, let me, let me ask you a series of questions. So, what time are you waking up? Dude, I have I, late on a good day. 
good day like like 11 30 12 oh really i'm I, dude i'm a, i don't know i just i'm not i don't wake up early so you wake up 11 30 let's say but also too like charlotte my girlfriend like works really late because she is a bar she works at like a bar oh, okay so it's like she fucking goes home hella late. I'm going to bed at like three. So that's when you link her like after after work. Yeah, it's, I mean most of the time. Sometimes she doesn't work, and we'll just hang out during the day. But yeah, usually we'll hang out at night because it's I'll go pick her up or something. So when you wake up, are you doing? I'm getting. Tell me your I'm, ritual. Are you brushing your teeth? Are you doing some sort of Andrew Tate cold <laughs> plunge? No, I get up. Vitamins. Oh yeah, I get up. I do. I do a B12. I do an omega three. I do a vitamin C. I do. I'm, sometimes I'll do a B12 injection, too, because I have really low B12. It was, like, prescribed to me by the doctor. Because of the vaccine? Yeah, of course. Um, I do a, I have a, I'm do. i on a blood thinner. It's called Plavax, so I take all my Jesus. fucking medications. I mean, fuck, I feel better. Yeah, no, I know. Like, I am like I feel like even since the last time I saw you, I'm feeling better. Oh, yeah, you seem better. Like, I feel less, like, tied down by it and more so. I mean, honestly, the worst part of it was meant... Anyways... Like, yeah. sorry, I'm very... Wait, wait, but so you wake up, you're yeah. in bed, are you looking at the phone? Dude, honestly, it's Regretting bad. Regretting a quick morning jerking, probably? No, no, I'm a night... If I'm doing it, it's a night. Okay, I like right. to... Okay. So I, don't let me interrupt, okay? You wake okay. up. I wake up, I'm fucking ready to go. I get out of bed, make some coffee, um, look at my phone, see what's up with Instagram, put the packages in my car, fucking hop in my car and leave, get ready to go, drop off packages. I'll go skate, I'll go to the gym. I like to get, like, an hour of exercise a day. Yeah. Just for, like, my mental health, more yeah. so than physical. I feel like if you move your body, get some sunlight, it's, like, you, you just... I feel like one thing people don't understand about being an artist for a living... I mean, you, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do the kind of the same shit that I do. Yeah. Is that your mental health is so important to what you make. Because if, you, if you're in a bad state... A lot of people think that, like, art, at least for me, is generated yeah. out of, like, sadness or depression. Mm -hmm. Or, like, oh, I'm so... I'm going to, like, channel it into my art. Right. For me, that's not true. If I'm making good art, I need to be, like fucking hyped like in a great mood happy yeah. having a good time like no stress right so um you got to keep your mental health good and for me the best way to do that is just rigorous physical exercise i think people romanticize the hollywood version of like the starving like kind of the tyler durden fight club guy who's like yeah. writing this manifesto in a beat down apartment it's like no if i'm getting <laughs> if i'm getting two-handed blow jobs and eating nice meals and yeah. getting good exercise i'll prop you would think the quality of the product would be better i actually really like talking to actually i don't i don't know if i like talking to them but i like i like trying to give kids in high school advice too because mm -hmm. I, I had a really shitty high school experience and i, I like trying to like help out kids that are like in, in like you know oh this sucks like i don't have mm -hmm. any friends i really i really in some way want to like do something to like help kids like that because that's dude high school fucking sucks bro it was awful i Torture hated it chamber yeah dude and i went to a high school in the fucking middle of nowhere like so every kid that i like went to school with like there there was like no fashion no skating it was all like every kid just played hockey mm -hmm. there was like 200 kids in my high school it was fucking awful so like i get it if you don't have anyone that has in common interests in your shit or whatever you yeah. know you just can't kill yourself. That's, Yo, that's the main piece of advice. You're a fucking pussy if you kill yourself. You can't do it. You like, got to keep going. I, it goes back. You just no, have to hold on. Never fucking kill yourself because it's like, dude, fucking tomorrow could be the best day of your life. And yeah. oftentimes, like, I'll have a really bad day sometimes. And I'm like, you know, we've all been there. Like, oh, like, life sucks. Mm -hmm. Just give it one more day, dude. The next, mm -hmm. a lot of the time, the next day will be fucking awesome. You know, you yeah. just had to, just like a chemical in your brain just like had a weird day, you know, just... Yeah. Oftentimes, it's just like a stupid chemical reaction in your head. And uh, if you just give it some time, it'll go away and you're in a good mood again. You know? Yeah. It's and like, yeah. I think a lot of kids, like, I had a very odd high school experience. It seems like you did too. Um, very odd. And I think, in a way, a terrible high school experience can be a, almost a blessing because. Yeah, but if it's too bad and you kill yourself, then But it's you not can't, good. like. That we that's not on the table. No, so killing for us yourself, though. But I don't know if anyone's watching. Well, whoever's watching, you can't do no, it. No, don't. You're a fucking pussy. If you the kill yourself, the you day you turn 18 and the day you graduate high school is the most liberating thing oh, of all dude, time. Oh, dude, it feels so good. I haven't talked to a single person I went to high school with since I graduated. Good. Sorry. It's, it might seem in the moment where you look at Chad Thundercock and you think, "Damn, if only that was me." But you have to realize that in the, life is a fucking <laughs> roller coaster, and if high school is the bottom. It's it, it's only up from there. Oh, and dude, if Chad yeah. Thundercock is on the top of the highest mountain getting that... <laughs> okay, he's on the top, but he's about to come the fuck down. Oh, that's just, that's a peak of his life, dude. I know kids, like, you know, back to the skate park, a lot of the kids will hang out with 
fucking peaked in high school. Yeah. Like all the construction workers and shit. Not all of them, but like a, a couple of them. And the way they'll talk about high school with this, like, oh, I was so cool. Yeah. I went to all the parties. I was crazy. Yeah. It's like, great, dude. That's yeah, good for you, I guess. You know, I'm. You're oh, 25 years old. Yeah. High school was eight years ago. Yeah. Seven or eight years ago. Kill you. You can kill yourself immediately. Yeah. Please do. Please yeah. do immediately. Yeah. Those guys should probably kill those themselves. people. Need like um the. I was a god in high school, bro. Shut the fuck up. Go. Okay, just get my fucking get my French fries, dude. Like, <laughs> bring it out. Bring you know yeah, Big Mac. Damn. Let's go. Come on, with my hot girlfriend in my fucking new car. Like, all right, buddy. See you later. Spit shine my cock and balls, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, dude, get on your knees. You say great, grande, right? <laughs> What's your go-to Starbucks order? I have I have two stories from what you just said. Okay. First, I like in the morning. Actually, dude, I've been drinking so much Starbucks. I've been trying to go to independent coffee shops lately. That <laughs> okay. sounds. I don't know. You but can't say that, bro. Yeah, fuck. I guess I can't. But honestly, I'll probably get a Starbucks tattoo one day. I do like Starbucks. I just. I don't know. I want to support the little guy. Anyways, if it's a really nice day, I'll get an iced coffee in the morning, and then by the like the second coffee, I'll have is a cappuccino. Hot. Uh, grinded, yeah, grinded cappuccino, no sugar. You don't mm. go for no ice white mochas. No, I don't like the sugar. That's like one my one advice to people trying to lose weight. Mm-hmm. You know, don't eat sugar. That's like the one thing you can't do. No soda. I'm, I know we're drinking that Diet Coke, but like this is fake sugar. Yeah, no. It's like gives you cancer instead. Mm-hmm. No soda. No fucking like sweetness. Don't put sugar in your coffee. If you do, just put like a just put like a, enough to just cancel the bitterness out. Mm-hmm. Just put more milk in it. No fucking sugar, dude. Cut that shit out. You just don't need soda. You don't need fucking Sprite. That is like the thing that'll make you fat. You can eat dog shit and like work out. As long as you don't have too much sugar, you'll be fine. Especially if you're our age. Yes, dude. If you're our age, bro, there's like no reason you shouldn't be in like moderately good shape. Yeah. Like what the fuck, dude? Like you're if you're in your twenties and you're like fat, just just stop eating sugar. That'll if probably you're fat, fix it. If you got a couple of extra pounds on you, it has to be in a in an alpha kind of bouncer power lifter. Yeah, way. that looks cool. Because then you're like you're that's t- you're that's strong. fine. But ideally, you can be pretty lean. Yeah, but you just yeah. don't be weak. That's no, the most yeah. important. Yeah, one. no, but literally, if like you just like work out and I don't know, just don't 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 like take your shirt off and you just look, look like shit. You can be you can have a little bit of weight on you and like look like yeah yeah. You can still look sick. Yeah, you know. But anyways, you know who who drinks the most disgusting beverages of all time? But he is an exception to the rule. He's very skinny as Kentucky boy Tyler. Dude, he used to yeah. be addicted to the gas station Dunkins yeah. and drink like three or four of them. But now he gets the venti ice white mocha twice a day dude i'm gonna be real with you i got a buddy his name is chris he's a a extremely talented skater i think he might go pro knock on wood but um he um he's on monster now and he epic for the longest time he's like 19 he's like young as fuck but um he would just go and skate all day skinny as fuck like like literally like fucking 100 pounds you should do a crazy bulk this winter do you, are, nah. Does that interest you? Pursuing no, weightlifting I, more than you do? Yeah, as soon as my heart gets better, if oh, it does. Fuck. I'm still like, dude, I'll hit, I'll hit, I'll hit, I'll hit squats. Yeah. And I'll be like, oh, I'll be like, my heart, I'll be boom, 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 boom. It'll oh, just, really? it'll hit me so hard. Yeah, I'll get a little dizzy. So you get extreme fatigue? Not extreme enough to power through it, but just enough to where it's uncomfortable. And that night, I'll, I won't feel that good. Fuck. Man. Yeah, it's not nice. Um, but do you wish you could lift? Like, if you were oh, able to? Oh, dude, if I was able to, I would be like Magic Mike right now. Hundred percent. Really? Yeah. I mean, I I'm powering through it. I still work out. I'll, I'll just, I just take it a little slower, and I don't go as hard as I used to. How often do you work out? <sighs> Depends, man. Honestly, not as much as I'd like to. Maybe once a week, twice mm. a week. Honestly, like if it's a good week. Mm-hmm. I skate though every day. Good. I'm getting I'm getting cardio every day, so that's why I'm still not fat. Good. Which is good. I also don't eat that much. But, anyways. Um, Wait. Can I get can. Wait. We we were doing your daily routine. That's oh yeah. I, okay. I want to keep going sure, with that. Sure. So you get you drop all the packages off. Let's say one or two p.m. Then you get your hour of activities in. Yeah. But when are so in the evening and the early evening? Are you going home and going on Photoshop and doing HS shit? Like when? Do you, uh, how many days a week are you doing like? Some today I'm gonna do okay. HS um, mockups. Okay, so I would say. I'll drop off some packages and I'll go to a coffee shop. I'll get a cappuccino. I'll pop my laptop open. 
mm-hmm. I'll get like 40 minutes of work done. So when you I, like working in public? Yeah, I just, uh, I don't like being in my house uh-huh. unless it's for sleeping or relaxing. I oh, like really? being out. Yeah, I don't know. I think I need to get an office. Yeah. But yeah, I don't, I don't really like being in my house too much, especially if it's nice. I like getting a lot of sunlight, you mm-hmm. know? So if it's, if it's a nice day, if the sun's out, I just don't like being inside. So I'll go to a cafe. Do you have to-do lists or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, but not, like, too formally. Like, maybe, mm-hmm. like, I'll wake up in the morning, I'll pull up my notes. Yeah. And I'll write, or, like, the night before, I'll, like, write out, like, what I got to do that day. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. I used to be better at all that shit. Like, it's, honestly, like, I don't want to, I don't want to keep blaming the vaccine for shit, but that, like, that shit stressed me out so much that I kind of, like, lost a lot of my focus that I had. Uh-huh. And I'm not as organized, I'm not as planned as I used to be, and I'm a lot more ADD. Just because, like, not feeling right in your own body is such a distracting thing that uh, it's hard it's hard for me to like sit and focus the same way I used to be able to. So mm-hmm. I'm I'm very ADHD although I'm not, you know, I'm obviously not going to take anything for it, but uh, I I'm very jumpy, I'm very all over the place. Um, you would never take anything for it. Fuck said? no, I never take anything for depression, never take anything for anxiety, never take anything for ADD. Uh, fuck that. Just me go neither. just just go harder. Go do some push-ups. Don't fucking if you're watching this, don't you dare go on any depressants. That shit does not work. If you're having a panic attack or if you feel like you're, you're about to, like, fucking collapse on the floor. Have, like, a huge sip of beer, and you'll be okay. I'm serious. Yeah. Like, you don't... Have, like, half a beer, and you'll feel okay. <laughs> dude, yesterday... Oh, God. Dude, were, when, yeah, dude I was tripping, tweaking. dude. I was having crazy, crazy, crazy... What the... Just, you were I was like, just... Yeah. I think I was smoking too much. Because I... It, but whatever. Yeah, I was just yeah. anxious, and James said, let's have a beer. And I was like, shut up, shut up. But, dude, I'm... And you asked me at the end when we were a little bit drunk you were like did the beer help and i didn't want to say yes because dude society has helps, has in, encouraged weed like oh come on man it's good for you but Fuck people weed. forgot about that for all of human history after work like you crack a drink like there's nothing wrong with using a little alcohol a it little makes bit. you feel good yeah no, you're not yeah. getting blackout drunk no. at the joey shoot but you're having Two fucking cans of Budweiser. Yeah. No, okay, here's the thing, though, dude. It's like, if you're going to use something, anything in your life, if you're going to use a drug, you're going to use a substance, you're going to use a fucking, an app, Yeah. use it in a productive way. Yeah. If you're going to have a beer, have it so you can, like, work more. Yeah. Have it so, are you going to, like, fucking relax, relax so you can work harder. Yeah, Have a beer. Exactly. If anything you do, it should be to, like, it should be a tool. You should use it for you. You shouldn't let it use you. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? But if you're fucking stressing, you're having an awful day, dude, you just want to fucking kill yourself. Actually, maybe if you don't want to kill yourself, beer can actually make that worse. Yeah. But if you're just like anxious, if you're anxious, you have anxiety, you got to get shit done, fucking have a beer. Yeah. It'll, it'll just cut that like, hey, actually everything's all right. Mm-hmm. And uh, dude, what do you think? What did the fuck do you think like Vikings did before yeah. they went into battle, bro? Right. They fucking had a beer. I think that criminalization and and like that kind of bad look that alcohol has gotten has to be related from big weed from big weed but also big pharma big like, pharma bro people didn't have antidepressants for the first 90 percent of human history yeah. what did they have yeah they why? Had alcohol what?